This is the Sinking City. We're on Xbox Series X taking a look at this now optimized release. So basically I think the developer got full hold of their game and they have decided to do a next generation version of it. And yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I got to come and take a look at this early, which is kind of nice just in regards to doing content for it. And I guess it's a bit of a, a stealth release, one might say, as well, which is kind of cool. So we've got the details here. This is more of a casual type of gameplay. We're just going to kind of play through the start of it here. I mean, I have actually done this in the past. I played a good chunk of this on Xbox One, so it's actually interesting to be back here and seeing the game in action on the, the next generation console. Is this counting as the, yeah, the trophy of the plate? Good. Collecting all the stuff. So yeah, we do also have the full details in regards to, um, you know, all the details you need to know. <laughs> We're getting a native 4K resolution at 60 FPS, if you haven't been able to tell. Yeah, it's quite smooth. It doesn't seem like there is any sort of HDR support for the game, in case you were wondering. Get out. Okay, well that's not very nice. And yeah, it's kind of a uh, neat game, kind of Chithulu-esque, as to say, around there, where you're going in and exploring this bout of madness in the landscape. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vandenberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vandenberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. That's an eye catching suit. Thank you, Mr. Reed. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. You said you know someone who can help me with my... problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to... <laughs> stand out from the crowd. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot, or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Uh, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. That's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Okay, that's not weird at all. And like I was saying, 4K, 60, seems to hit it pretty smoothly, feels really good in that regard, especially compared to the original version of the game because it uh, yeah, wasn't quite as smooth, obviously. So aside from the resolution and the frame rate increase, we also get improved graphic fidelity and improved loading times. It, it really does load like basically instantly, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, it, it just, you get into it super, super fast once you uh, start playing. Is there like a mystery thing here? Yeah, I remember being able to go into the water and being like, this is interesting. Going for a swim. Definitely an odd sort of feature. Anyways, there's also additional quests that are part of the Merciful Madness DLC, included in the Deluxe Edition, or as a separate purchase. So I guess that's a bit of an extra thing. It also seems like they offer, like, slightly lower pricing and stuff on this title, but basically the big thing is they got their game back and they decided, hey, we're gonna do a 
you know, re-release it for the next gen, and I think that's kind of cool, and that's mostly what we're showing today is this Where's sort of, overall, you know, experience of what it's like. Ooh, yes, the giant, uh, submarine thing. Ooh, spooky. So it's kind of doing some investigation, dealing with madness, you know, stuff like that. What's wrong with it? Everything gives you chills, my friend. I thought we already did the weird thing. Something with this. Anyways, you're trying to figure out like what exactly is going on here, and it's sort of wonky and weird. We like it here, newcomer. Well, get used to it. No one leaves open. But what I really liked or found interesting about this when I first played it, because I don't think I ended up doing a video or anything for it, was the fact that you can, like, sort of just freely explore certain areas and stuff. Like, they give you a lot of options for kind of getting around and seeing what the area has to offer, which is kind of neat. But we should probably go do a little bit more of the story elements of this. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of an interesting experience and definitely something that was a little bit uh, more surprising, I have to say, because... Uh, yeah, I didn't necessarily foresee that this one was going to uh, return. I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is final. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I've heard you're the man to speak to about... visions. Outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouther ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. <laughs> I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burnt Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. Port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say, I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, you have a point, newcomer. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, 
My son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Okay, let's get going. And you may be wondering why this isn't just an upgrade for the last platform ownership. Uh, that's because they are again doing this sort of legal thing in regards to owning the actual title uh, due to the publisher and title, or publisher and developer, which they're the developer and stuff, and they're trying to, you know, kind of get all this legal stuff uh, sorted out. So that's kind of why this is a standalone new release experience. So I hope that kind of helps, because I'm sure some people are probably going to be wondering about, you know, that element of the experience. So, yeah, just kind of keep it in mind. Anyways, it feels, you know, a lot better. It looks significantly upgraded over the original, that's for sure. Hmm. Hello there. That's a bit of a creepy bag to be having there, my friend. But anyways, it's a very spooky and atmospheric type of game, where, again, you're solving, like, you know, puzzles and hidden things as this detective trying to figure out what exactly is going on. Gruesome scenes, dark scenes. They also have a really interesting depiction at the opening of the game, where they talk about how some of the elements of this universe are obviously aren't as... Um, great in regards to how certain, you know, race stuff is handled and that, and they kind of put out a note where they're like, this is a depiction of the, you know, kind of the described scenes, and instead of erasing history, they aim to provide an accurate depiction of how things absolutely, or actually were, and that they are, of course, against any sort of thing like that. So it's kind of interesting from that um, perspective to have that kind of thing, because you don't really see that in games that much, if that makes sense. Usually it's something you see in a couple of movies where they're, you know, kind of showing something from uh, a different era and its representation, which is kind of uh, a neat talking point for sure on this one. Under the Neil Bar exit. So we'll walk this way. I'm just trying to show off the different area. Hello, folks. Toggle the flashlight. Yeah, I gotta say, having higher frame rates is just really, really nice. And to have higher, like, you know, visual quality too is, is just really well done. Let's see what you it would find. Take tremendous man. effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. Nothing. Choo choo. Ahem. <clears throat> This is a very horrible house design. <laughs> I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Mind's eye to activate for more information. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. Seems like Prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Whoa! That's not odd at all. Never know when that might come in handy. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. Anything else we need to be looking for? Are we picking this stuff up or are we just leaving it? Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. I think we saw everything we need to see there. The portrait. And I think we've about covered that. Five cards short of a full house. 
I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Spooky visions. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. That's okay. I'm Charles Reed, private eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Throgmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. And he started to make these horrible sounds and... Okay. My head began to burst. And he woke up. And... After that, I don't remember a thing. Just... Dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant... A voice that called me... Ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... I started fishing. Either that or starve. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Okay, be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea where Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective. Sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or... Did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <gasps> what? What's happening? Take this, ape face. <laughs> yeah, run! Okay, let's see what we have here. Yeah, run! Okay, so now we gotta mark the scene. So run like there. So I'm assuming it went one, two, three. Take this, yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Yeah. I still hear those voices. Huh. Let's see what you find, newcomer. Found lots of cool info. You'd be jealous of the kind of stuff I learned. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. Yeah, you gotta take care of doggo. is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Mr. Throgmorton, I found this in the lifeboat. Looks like it's your son. Good thing we did that earlier. Give it to me. Oh my boy, what did you get yourself into? If only I hadn't sent you on that cursed expedition. Bye. 
Well, that was pretty intense. Mine place? It wants me to keep going in here? Is that what this is? Mine place. Mine palace? It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. Look in through the mind. Yeah, but I thought we already did everything in here. Seems like prohibition has an effect. It hope not too much. Ooh, it's another one of those things. There was a fierce fight here. I can barely recognize the face of the poor thing. All evidence collected. Okay. We got it all. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? I don't think you did. Or I kind of did things out of reverse a little bit. I gave him the will and stuff, right? But I then fisherman's boat was over here. Where's your Oberon, huh, Titania? Like it here, newcomer. <laughs> what a weird situation. Okay, we delivered the thing. We got stuck over there doing something, but uh, then we did the mine palace and we put all the clues together and. You know, we kind of got these deductions, and now we're going to have to follow this weird silhouette thing in order to find out where our next uh, kind of clue thing is going to be in. So the fisherman pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. This is a really twisted world. I guess I overall though in general it, it's quite good looking, you know, they've they've done some really nice improvements to make this a lot better of an experience. So if you're a fan of this, you might find this one to be quite delightful. Uh-oh, that's not good. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Ain't nothing. Oh, is that like a whale? Jesus. Well, we figured out what happened. Cool in this spooky place I gotta discover. Where'd the fisherman go? It's 
go see what's up on the second level. <gasps> Nothing but a... Yeah, but I already discovered this. Guess I gotta go report this? Yeah. Back to the Mind Palace. Let's go to the bar, guys. Let's solve this. I want to solve, like, one case in this setup, just to show off a good chunk of the gameplay. Oh, that's not weird. Not weird at all. <laughs> He's just vomiting outside. Stay alert. Monsters think hey, knock it off. Welcome to Under the Kill. What do you want? I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is. I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throg Morton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have it. Sounds good. He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with him once and for all. Save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Bye. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son Albert, so... I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. Start at the beginning. What happened? We, we... We were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary'd gone to the sea. So I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Mary dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throg Mortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. 
We needed jobs, food, medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? <laughs> so you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head honchos of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. You think you're the first person to offer me mm. Please, Mr. Reed. Now, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. We've collected all the evidence. Let's put it all together. All evidence collected. Let's go hand this guy in to get killed by the other guy so that we can build up respect with that individual. <laughs> Probably not the heroic or nice thing to do, but this isn't a nice or heroic city. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? Just as I suspected. The Innsmouth or Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar. Just ask the bartender. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmortons. Justice, bittersweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Kay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I'm looking into an outbreak of erratic behavior and madness, all linked to shared visions of this place. Indeed. Then our goals align. This inexplicable hysteria has spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the Flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant, drowned streets, and a voice calming from the depths. Her words, exactly. 
She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the Flood and this madness have the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. about my expenses. They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert, when you've finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. And that is the Sinking City on Series X.